Hi, my name is Martha Zink and I'm with Salian Consulting and I'm going to present a series called Delve into FileMaker 12. The idea is I want to create a video series that will talk about the new features in FileMaker 12 and give examples of how you can implement these into your existing solutions. Now I'm going to start off by talking about interface and the reason is that FileMakers put a lot of time and effort into really improving the way that FileMaker 12 handles interface. Now in this specific video it's going to be very tailored to, to the beginning of the process when you're creating a new database or creating a new part of a system and this is when you're starting from scratch. So imagine that you have an Excel spreadsheet that has a ton of your data and you want to get it into FileMaker. So let's go ahead and do that. So here I have a, a CSV file that has 5,000 rows in it and it has things like name and address, phone number, email, things like that. So what we want to do is get this right into FileMaker. Now in, just like in previous versions we can still drag and drop the file so let's do that. I'm going to close Excel here. I'm going to drag this to my icon. The file is going to ask me or FileMaker is going to ask me what I want to save the file as. I'm going to save the file on my desktop and pretty quickly I have my 5,000 records right into FileMaker. Now similar to previous versions we're right into table view but what I want to do is show you what the list view and the form view look like. So I'm going to jump into layout mode. Uh, I use the keyboard command command L or control L on the PC. And under layouts I'm going to choose new layout. I'm going to give it the name contact list and make it a list view. When I hit next it's going to ask me what fields I want to add to this layout. Now I'm in a list view so I really don't want to add too much data to this layout so I'm actually just going to choose everything through uh, the address. I click next. I'm going to click next once more and here's where the new feature comes, up, comes into play. In FileMaker 12 we get a list of themes which we did in 11 but they were, much, they were much simpler and really based off of color and font more than anything else. Here they're really adding a layer of, of interface and, and, and uh, look. So you'll see things like rounded corners. You'll see that when we scroll down a little deeper into these you'll see things like gradients on certain objects. Now these are things that we couldn't easily do in uh, earlier versions of FileMaker. Now the question is why is this so important? Well, the reason is that interface really does affect the way that someone feels about a system. When you open up a FileMaker database or quite frankly anything, the first thing you see is how it looks and if it looks professional and it looks complete and well done, then you assume that it's a trustworthy system. If you have something that is inconsistent, things aren't lined up properly, there are too many colors or different fonts and font sizes, it becomes very overwhelming and can be assumed to be a, a less than great system. So really interface is, is the, the first interaction that someone gets with your system or with your solution so you want to make sure it's as clean as organized as possible. And that's what these themes are providing. Now I'm going to choose one of my favorite themes which is called Ocean. It's in the rounded category and you'll see that there's, there are rounded edges in the header and the footer and uh, also the fields have very rounded edges. I'm going to click through the rest of the layout wizard and I'm right on my layout. Now you'll notice that without doing much more than creating the layout and choosing the theme, it, it, it looks very sleek and clean. It looks very organized and very usable already. So I can scroll through these records and see my data. Now you'll notice that FileMaker 12 pretty much highlights the record you're on by showing the border and fill for the fields. So that when I go down here and click on Julia, you'll see that the top record no longer has the white background on it, but it's the record that I or the record that I'm in that shows it. Also, as I tab through the fields, you'll see that it becomes very obvious what field I'm in because there's a, a very obvious highlight and, and darker border around the field. So it's these little things that really do make a big difference in developing something that, that's very user friendly. And more importantly, this is right out of the box, it looks this good. Now if I jump into layout mode I'm going to create a new layout and I just want to show you what a contact uh, details view or a standard form view would look like. Now in the previous case of the list view I only added certain fields because in a, in a list view you don't want to go too far uh, to the right. You want to keep as much on the screen as possible at once. 
However, in form view, because we're only looking at one record at a time, we're going to see we're going to have more room to show more fields. So I'm going to go ahead and move all of my fields over. Now, the nice thing about selecting a theme on a new layout is that FileMaker remembers the theme of the last layout you were on. So you'll notice in the background I'm on the ocean theme, so my new layout is also defaulting to the ocean theme. I'm going to hit finish, and right off the bat, FileMaker's created a layout that, again, is very clean and organized and can be modified, but even straight straight from the box pretty much, it's it's very intuitive. And just like in the other layout, when I click on a field and change records, or change when I click in a field and move to a different field with the tab key, it's very obvious what field I'm in. Now while these may seem like very small details and, and things, again, that don't have to do with scripting or calculations or all these cool things we like to do in FileMaker, keep in mind that the interface is one of the most important pieces of any solution. Uh, as I mentioned before, it makes it feel very professional and organized and really affects the way people see your database. Now in this video my goal was only to show you what FileMaker can do out of the box when you're creating new layouts and how the, how easy it is to apply a theme. Uh, one last quick thing I want to show you is you can change a theme. I'm going to right click in some empty space in layout mode and choose change theme. And then I can go down here and choose any other one I want. Now I urge you to be careful about doing this in that once you apply a theme you might move things around on the layout. You might make fields shorter or longer, uh, maybe they're taller or shorter. And what happens is when you change to a different theme, it's going to apply that to all objects on the layout without awareness of where things are or how close they are to other objects, things like that. So now we have a completely different theme on this layout. Um, but again, if I had moved things around or kind of sized things to that specific theme, it might not fare too well. So your best bet is to stick to pick a theme and stick with it and, and keep consistent with using it and not changing the theme in uh, in FileMaker. FileMaker 12 has added a slew of new features with interface. Again, this was the very basic, very beginning, just talking about what FileMaker can do out of the box. So if you're interested in finding out what else FileMaker can do, please watch my other videos. Thanks.